Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's featured Nightfall, which is the Arms Dealer. I'm doing it on Void Walker. I'm doing it on Void Walker, even though it's solar burn for the grenades, and obviously that'll become apparent at the boss. My fragments are all geared to doing well with the grenade, basically. Uh, Seventh Seraph offers a hand cannon for Unstoppable, Tyranny of Heaven for Barrier and Galahorn. Now, I would probably change the bond. Uh, I would put a, a, a plus five discipline on i'd make sure it was a solar affinity as you'll show you here i'd keep lucent finisher on but i'd put bomber on instead and it's only available on a solar this mod here i'd put that on just to help you get your grenade back faster and i'd probably make uh try and get the discipline higher to 100 that will all become apparent at the boss and i'm pretty sure quite a few of you will know why you want close to 100 I'm doing it on Warlock, even though it's a cute solar burn, because of the grenades, basically. Uh, there is a build that's better, but i done this. Uh, this i done last week. I, it's the first time i done it. I want to try and solo all the GMs straight off the bat on my own. Uh, so I, you only get one shot. You know, if you've got Conqueror, you can choose whichever GM you want to do, but you only get one shot. So this was my first completion of this. So when you come in here, you're going to have two Void uh, Incendiars. You're going to have two Scions, an an a Barrier, and an Unstoppable. So you'd have seen me take the Barrier. You have to be really careful with the Barrier because, especially with this acute art Solar Burn, you can get killed very quickly. But uh, what I like to do with this Unstoppable, is, and it works even better with Solar Burn, is uh, I like to let him come along here a little bit. And I like to stop him and fire a rocket at him while he's next to the explosive barrel that is here. You can just see it on the right there. And that does a ton of solar damage to him as well. But we want to finish him because we're going to be using what, about three rockets in that first area. Listen, finisher gives us a brick back. So that's this first area taken care of. When you go out here, you're going to have a whole hodgepodge of enemies. You're going to have Scions, you're going to have uh, Cabal, you're going to have uh, uh, Phalanx, you're going to... Uh, those yellow bar legionaries, and you're going to have a Thresher. So take the Thresher out first because they will be firing solar rockets at you. And once the Thresher's gone, there will be about three or four ads that will push you. You'll get a Phalanx, which you can just see there. I'm just going to throw that grenade down there. It's not going to deal with the, the Phalanx. It's going to take a couple of the other ads. Uh, it took a Scion, and it took a Honored Legionary. There's your Phalanx, so I'm just going to use... My Tyranny of Heaven, which is the last wish bowl, uh, has explosive payload on it. So I'm just going to use the explosive shot just to fire at the legs of this Phalanx because he's got shield up. And there we go. And there's a, a Scion there. If they, if they do hide, you can use the explosive uh, shot just to explode in front of them. This, uh, this uh, Legionary it took a lot of damage from the grenade so now you can see there's not a lot of enemies left there's there's no enemies left up here but they're all down there and you can see the grenade just absolutely punishing them you've also got that slug shooter and uh, normally from my experience because I've I done this maybe twice uh, but from memory as well I, I, I was expecting one rocket to kill that uh, illicit sl slug shooter they've done a lot of damage and all we had to do there was finish him off with the bow. So you're going to get a bunch of these uh, legionaries just pushing up. I'm just going to stick a grenade, try and take as many of them as I can. And then you're left with... Now what you'll be left with is there's a scion over on the left hand side. You'd have seen me take one already over there. There's two. There's one, one, one higher and one lower. You've also got... There, there's there's the, the sign I was talking about. You've also got... A yellow bar scion right at the bottom. You'll see me just aim at him down there. He's down there behind that box. And you've got an unstoppable. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to put the grenade on the unstoppable. And then we want to try and stop him. Unfortunately he jumped away. So he's taking no more damage from, from the grenade. But you can see how much damage. The Galahorn really does hurt him. What I want to try and do. Is I want to finish him. Uh, a bit of a tip about un uh, unstoppables, if they're jumping up and you stop them in the air, it won't actually stop them. Wait till they're on... Uh, wait until they're on solid ground. Because you'll hear the unstoppable 
you'll hear the unstoppable audio cue, but that's it. It's just an audio cue. So I'm letting him jump up. I'm not, I wasn't going to stop him while he was in the air. Now I'm going to use the bow because we're doing more damage with solar. And that should be him. Now we can finish him, get a heavy brick, and we're good. We actually got two, so we're running with full heavy. Now we'll take out this, this uh, heavy duty scion at the bottom, this honoured scion. And then, as you can see on the left, we've got our unstable core. What I'm going to do with the unstable core is I'm just going to pick it up just to get the first adds to spawn in. I'm going to drop it. Once I drop it, I can take the champion. There'll be a champion drop, drop right in front of us. I'm going to throw a grenade. That that will weaken the champion, meaning that all my shots now will do will do a yellow. What, the reason why I never went with a rocket straight away is because I figured that the the grenade would uh, would do tons of damage and maybe. If I if if I'd have just carried on, and uh, if, I'd, if I'd have carried on, and just by the time I'd have got the rocket out and fired it, he'd have been putting his shield up because he'd already took an absolute ton of damage from the grenade. Just running to see if there's any bricks of heavy lying about. So we pick up this unstable core to get the champion to come out. But if we take the unstable core down, we get the rest of the enemies. Now we've got the thresher. We're gonna have three war beasts coming. So. Uh, Take those out. We've got two snipers up top. I'm just going to put one shot on the thresher at the moment. And now we want to take these two snipers. There we go. And you can see the champions out. I'll just pick up. I'll put that down then. What I should have done there is pick up the, the unstable charge. You can see the solar charge has dissipated. It's, it's gone. So, again... You've got to be careful with this champion. You see he's going to he's going to get stopped. But where he stops, it's kind of hard for us to do any kind of real damage. So we're going to try and put two rockets on him. Hopefully, he went into cover, which I, I kind of knew he was going to do that. So now we've got to reset, start all over again. And just toss a grenade. I want to toss, toss the grenade to his, to his left so he doesn't jump towards the grenade but again he still walked into cover so I'm what I might have to do is I might have to change position if he's going to keep doing that see he's just running away I might have to go up to the right to take him it's annoying I had this problem uh, with ads doing this a few times in the GM's Every time they, every, every time they shielded, it's. I remember when I first started doing this as a GM. I hated. There's a couple of champions in here that I just thought were, were really stupid that they they were in the positions they were in, and this is one of them. Although it's not too bad. You see there, I'm all. You've got if you're going to be taking them from here, you've got to make sure you're kind of to the back. Throwing the grenade on them where we are throwing it, uh, kind of takes out the war beasts as well. So, this is where I always used to take him from. I used to come up here and take him. It's back in the days where I used Ariana. Uh, so, I'm just going up to make sure all the war beasts are dead. And it looks like they are, but with war beasts, you can never be too sure. And there we go. And now I'm, I'm running with full, full heavy again. So, we're going to go back. We're going to get the unstable core. Wasted a bit of time with that champion, but... Again, this isn't about the time, it's about doing it repeatedly. So going up to the right, you won't have a problem with that barrier. If it was me, you know, one thing you could do to so you don't take any damage when you're getting to there, is you could break his shield first. Try and break his shield and that will give you a couple of seconds to run up to the right. And then, obviously, now we've got the unstable core, we're going to come up here and slam it, which will open up a door and we'll get a bunch of ads coming from there. They've fixed the... the there used to be a, dis a, 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 a teleporting uh, phalanx. They fixed that to a degree. So I'm just making sure that the grenade takes all the adds. It does. Now we're going to get we're unstoppable and we're honoured legionary. So I'm just going to try and try and take the legionary. Just pinging away at him. I'm just trying to shoot at his feet. 
now what we'll do is we'll stop the the unstoppable. Uh, now the grenade, putting the grenade on him, the grenade is to weaken him, right? Now even though it's solar burn, just from the grenade and the hand cannon, see how much damage that does to him. Because the grenade weakens him, which means that weakening him does a few things. I'm trying to get him finishable. I'm just keep keep going for heavy all the time. Uh, weakening him does a few things. Obviously, you'll take more damage. He, you'll, he'll take yellow numbers from 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 all of your attacks. Uh, but it also kind of messes with his aim, which is cool. He, if he's if he's stopped, he's it's almost. It's very much like a suppression, but uh, it, it, they're not as accurate as well with that. So we've got uh, seven seven rockets. We're good to go. So we're going to make my way up to the ramp section, is what I want to call it. Uh, we go up into the ship. A couple of little lads here. They're all red bar. There's two scions and a bunch of legionaries. Just toss the grenade down on the legionary. Take out this... Uh, Scion. So there's still one legionary up. You see him there. And there we go. And then we'll move up to the, 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 the ramp taking us up into the ship. We're going to kind of skip the ramp. We won't, because we want platinum. Uh, the only thing we have to kill is the barrier champion. But we can skip all the other adds and just go straight to the barrier. Which is what we're going to do. Now, like I've already said, if you've got Conqueror. You can do all the Grandmasters on in week one. I have so far I've soloed three of them. I'll leave them till the the featured nightfall. I've also done the Fallen Saber. Uh, but once you do them, you can't go in like if you're not happy with the run, go in and redo it. I would have redone this run, but it's a one and done. Once you've done it once, that's it. That's all you can do. Uh, so I chose to go with what is called the cheese, but we'll get to that at the boss it, it is a little bit cheesy but you know we're not looking for any world records we just want the completion so this is your barrier you see him there i'm just gonna put another rocket on him i'm just gonna check to see if there's any heavy there i don't really want to get involved with any of the other ads there isn't any heavy so we're gonna move on to the the hangar now the hangar consists of two tanks uh 27 champions and a whole heap, whole, host of ads. The only void shielded ads you will fight in the whole strike are in here. So there's your first tank. So we're going to do what we normally do. I tried to put a grenade on him, but I'm always a little bit uh, thingy about putting grenades, like taking too much time to uh, to charge my grenade because the tank does solo and does big damage. So. When I said 27 champions, if you don't already know, the champions you will face in here is there are, I want to say, two barrier champions and four unstoppables. So I'm just going to put, just I'm, I'm trying to aim for the legs, but once I could have put, I don't, I don't want to use all my rockets. So you see there, you've got to be very careful, but it's, it's very avoidable. So there we go, there's the tank. Just jump out the way of his next shot. That is the first tank down. The second tank won't enter the room until you've activated two consoles. And the other console is up by the two barriers, which you will see up top there. There's all the void enemies. I say all of them, there's some of them. But there aren't... See, the thing about using solar weapons is there wasn't really enough void in this room to justify running something void. So we'll try and put another grenade, try and take the rest of the void shields. Which was unfortunate that all the void shields walked away. You can see the unstoppable there. Now, hopefully, we've done that. You know, we've done enough with the... With the... The grenade to get one back. Because that's the way Contrafrost works. So you will get back a whole host of grenade energy every time you hit. Every time you hit an enemy, it, 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 it kind of you get the tech damage. The way Contrafrost works is that will help you get grenade energy back. I actually thought that Unstoppable was walking towards me, which is why I threw the grenade. Now, I don't have any heavy, 
I can see purple over the other side. Now, you have to be very careful when you're going for heavy. I can see that it is heavy. There's another void in Cyndia. But what I can do is try and grab the heavy from underneath. And I probably just never... Never, uh, never managed to get underneath it. So now I'm going to go and try and get behind this cover because if you're too close on the ground, if you're too close to the barriers, the barriers will just shoot at you. And that's a grandmaster. You expect barriers to kill you very easily. Uh, so what we've got to try and do now is take down that incendiary. Just got to wait for my grenade and stuff and find out where the unstoppable is. I think the unstoppable is on the ground. I'm, try I'm, I'm still trying to look for him. There he is. He was on the ground. So I'll put that over. That'll take out... That'll take out the incendiary. Hopefully. There we go. So... I just, I just need to grab this heavy. There's lots of void stuff over there. I want him to come down. Because I'm going to use my super. If I can get him to come back down. I'm going to use my super. Because we can finish him and get some heavy. There we go. Finish. Heavy. We got two lots of heavy there. We've got six rockets. Now we can maybe try and think about taking down these barriers. Now, it used to be such a convoluted way to take these barriers down. You had to go over to the right to kind of juke them and get them to move away. And oh my god, it was a whole mess. Now what we're going to do, or what we're going to try and do, I land a grenade. I'm going to fire a rocket which puts both of them into their shield. So I'm going to fire another one. And because we've hit them already with the grenade, uh, they, they're, they're in a weakened state. Plus, we're on uh, solar burn. So Galahorn's going to be doing even more damage. So, you can see here, I can actually hit this barrier. I want him to move. I want him to run. Like that. Because if he runs, I can now push up. We'll see if there was a brick of heavy up here. There we go. Full heavy with two bricks in reserve. And I can glitch him from here. I've got a grenade. I've got rockets. I'm not going to bother with... There he is. I'm not going to bother with trying to grenade him because now we're in his line of sight. So what we're going to do is reload. I've got bricks. I'm, I'm not bothered about my heavy ammo economy I just want them dead and that's exactly what happened and, and you'd have seen I, I did actually have uh, no heavy ammo and still wasn't too bothered about it because the heavy ammo thing drops drops quite quite a bit here so we've that, we, that's the second console the first console was obviously down here we've activated that now what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of try and land as many uh, grenades on this tank up here as we can and we can actually uh, fire some rockets as well should we need now what we're going to do is wherever you throw a grenade from move move so we're going to go left and right so I'm moving to the left because he will he will th throw his grenade he will th sorry his grenade he will throw his attack to the last place he's seen you so that should go to the left now and you can just do that. And then he will fire it to where we fired from. I've got a grenade again. I'll charge it when the next shot comes in. Now, wherever you th throw the grenade from, that is where the shot will come. So we were more in the center, so that should come right over us. That hit the blast barrier. So we'll just move to the right a little bit. I don't want to burn too many rockets, but that is what it is. And there we go. Now we've got our grenade. He will fire again to the right, so I'm just going to wait for that fire to come in. And just... So I've stayed to the left so he could see me. And you see lots of numbers coming off. Because if you can hit, if you can hit the tank in the center with the grenade, and I'm just going to have a look and see if I can take him down with the bow... There we go. And now, 
it, if you can hit the, the tank in the center with the grenade, what you end up with is, because the, the weak points, obviously, are the four legs, if you like. Uh, the grenade will hit all four points. So now what we've got, we've got those phalanxes and we've got this unsanctioned blaster. So I don't want to kill the unsanctioned blaster. I want him low. And the reason I don't want to kill him is if he's dead, the minute I kill the unstoppables, I'm going to get a whole bunch of dogs coming in before I'm ready for them. So now that uh, yellow bar, that elite that blaster, he's, uh, he's one shot with a bolt. Now I've got... And I think this is extreme, right? Although it's not difficult to take down, it doesn't matter. It is extreme. So you can see there my grenades hitting all the unstoppables. I've got three rockets. I can take my time here and just make sure I get, uh, get one of them finishable. I'm looking there. I can see I've got a brick over on the other side. Just waiting for the grenade and that's what we're going to do you can use your grenade as well like i've already alluded to this in this room you can use your grenade for want of a better word to move enemies where you want them because if if you see there i moved they're all taking a bit of damage there which is nice and i think i think i think two of them are lowish and one of them isn't one of them's I'm not stupid enough to get in that grenade. <laughs> you know, whereas the other two are like, you know, oh, grenade. <laughs> Let's have some of the grenade. Come on. Right, so throw another grenade up there. Try and stop both of them so that they both take grenade damage. Couple it with some bow damage. And that unstoppable is very nearly finishable. So we'll try and stop him again while he's still taking extra damage. Just put a little bit on him. Just to get the, the finish. He is finishable now. So now have a look at the other two. You've got one that is a little bit lower than the other. And then the one that's run away to the right. He's... Yeah, he had he wanted none of it. Right, so once you get to this point where you're like, well, I could maybe start finishing them now. What you can do is you can entice them down. Now, the one that we can finish is the closest one. So he's going to jump down. We're going to finish him. That gets us some heavy... No, we don't have to mess about with the other ones. We've got full heavy and we've got bricks up there. So all we've got to do now is entice them down. So we'll just push up. We stopped him before he could jump. And we can put two rockets on him. So he's gone. And then this boy here, if we want, we've still got a brick. We could... See, he's really close. He's finishable. And there we go. That's this room done. We've got heavy and reserve. I could have, because I had the brick there, I could have rocketed him. Could have just took care of him that way. So what we're going to do now is just finish him. And then dogs are going to come out. And normally, it's not all the time, but normally... You'll get a brick from killing these dogs as well. So, we're not very far away from the boss. Uh, I'm not going to do answers on a postcard or a three guesses. You guys probably have guessed the way I'm going to do the boss. It's my first completion, and it is on the Warlock. I said this was one of the best classes to do this on. After reset, uh, which is when you're watching this video, will be today. After reset today, I'm going to do this on the Titan, because I think the Titan build could be better for doing this than the Warlock build is. But we will find out. Uh, in this room, you're going to have one unstoppable, two barriers, and some some kind of trash mobs. But you, you've got the, the turrets. Got to be careful with those turrets, because it's solar burn, so you take 50% extra solar, and you deal 25% more. So, what I'm looking for, what I, the reason why I had my grenade charged straight away, was I was looking for the, the elite phalanxes, that there's one in each corner. What I normally do is just put a grenade on them, take out a few, as many of those turrets as I can. So, put a rocket on them, put another rocket on them, it might not finish them, but if it does, it does. 
So there, the phalanx hasn't arrived yet. Take out the, the turret and maybe if I can. There's the phalanx there. I can just see shield. So we'll just put a grenade on him. The grenade will take care of him. As you can see. And then there's another one just to the right. So while we're waiting for our grenade to recharge, we'll just take out some of these legionaries up top. Now, it's worthwhile saying, after you take the barriers, because there's two barriers, after you take the barriers, you need to kind of make sure you've got a couple of rockets for, for what we need to do when we go up in the lift. So the barriers both are going to use about two rockets each, so getting another brick wouldn't kill us. It would be nice to get another brick. So I backed away a little bit, and, and, and the reason why I backed away is so that the... The, the ads would come out. You see there's a phalanx. Phalanx up there. If I'd have, if I'd have just went and attacked the ads, um, they're, they're going to do a lot of damage. But back and away, they were more likely to come out to us. So from where I'm standing here, I can take out the turrets, Scorpius turrets over on the other side. Easy. And I'm also managing to take out some of the ads. The boss will go. You see there, the minute we take some of them out, the boss goes. There's another ad. You've got to be kept. That ad that came out there, he he was the one that I was trying to entice out. Because he normally kind of, you go up on that platform. You see, you can see in the background, that legionary I was fighting. Some of the ads in here, it's predictable. They do it all the time. But, and they're the same ads that do it. But they'll teleport into a position. See there, I can see this barrier. I'm just going to put take him down with the bow till we break his shield. And then once we break his shield, I'm just not going to mess about. Get a rocket straight on him. Hopefully, I can take him down with the sh with with the bow. Probably going to have to put another rocket on him just to make sure he dies. Reload in case I have to put another one, which I didn't. And we'll take out that turret. As long as I can get... I think I'm going to need like two or three rockets on on the boss to get him to go to his first immune state there's another barrier there he is just down to the right there he is now he will just smash this area I really want to finish him if I can just to make sure I get a brick because I'm going to need two of, when we get to the boss I'm probably going to need one or two rockets for the boss and then I'm going to need one or two rockets for the the ship. So we'll just break his shield. Now, I probably could have put a rocket on him here. You see, I'm just whittling him away. I didn't mean to do that, which is why I went kind of, oh man! Now, you'll see what's happening there. I've got my timing out, which is why I'm just putting a rocket on him. What you've got to do is fire at him, and then kind of hit him as soon as he puts his barrier up. So you see there, I can now go and finish him. As so if you don't hit his barrier as soon as he puts it up, uh, he'll regenerate some of his health in between you charging your bow shot. You need to make sure you've got your bow ready, ready to go, you know? It need, you need to be firing at him as the minute he shields. If you don't do that, he will regenerate a decent portion of his health. So, unfortunately, what we actually could be doing with now, because we're a little bit short on rockets, although I am feeling like Galahorn. At this point, I was feeling like I wouldn't need as many Galahorn as I thought I would. But, as luck would have it, we got a brick. Still... I always look to get another brick here to drop onto the lift. So uh, you could, I was, I thought about doing it there. You can actually jump up that chain and activate the boss. But I didn't really, I was anticipating Galahorn doing a lot of damage. So I didn't want to like do that and be firing rockets all the way and then have to, you know. For this run, I wanted to show a quick and easy way to do it. Now, when I say quick and easy, I didn't say fast. But 
with all the solar damage, the boss has got a couple of solar attacks. You don't really want to have to deal with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of rockets on them. As soon as he appears, one, two. Now I want to see where his health is. And I really took a lot off him, so I'm going to put another one. And then another one. And then I'm going to move up here. I'm going to get this pillar between me and him. Take out, I can take out the turrets from up here. And then I'm going to throw my super. And that should make him want to run. But I need to, I need him to be close to... We'll fire one at him there. I need him to be close to his final... You know, get the first health bar out of the way. What will happen now is... When you get him... Get him, take his first full health bar out because he's got three health bars. If you can take his first one out, he'll jump up on that platform and he'll shield. As long as he, he shields, he won't shoot you. Now all we've got to do is take out this this uh, thresher. We'll just put two rockets on the thresher. Now I've got a brick of heavy over the other side should I need it. I jumped out the way because the thresher actually started to shoot us straight away. I've got a brick of heavy. I've actually got quite a few bricks here, but the only real ad that's going to hurt us, and he does get a big shot on me, is, is the the Centurion. He's a he's an arch, a solar shielded Centurion. So our bow, if I can hit him, there we go. My bow will actually, he gets a big hit on me here. Uh, my bow will kill him. It'll break through his shield and it'll kill him. Take out the last couple of ads. That's him. The Centurion's gone. I think that's all the ads gone. If you've got to this point, then you've completed the Grandmaster. If you've done everything the way I've done it and you've got to this point, you have completed the Grandmaster. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to go underneath. We're going to go underneath Brachizan. Which that's the name of the boss. And we're just going to throw grenades at a certain point underneath his platform. And we're just going to do that till he dies. Now I'm going to speed this up. Because I think I was here for about 20 minutes. Throwing grenades. You see there. I'm going to back away. I'm going to show the first couple of greens. And we're going to speed it up. That's why I said at the start. What I would do. Is I would have put bomber on. And had my grenade energy come back faster. So I think I've got like 7 grenade energy. But I, I've got 100 recovery. So if you can increase your discipline to closer to 100, you're going to get your Rift back quite a bit. Rift gives you like 10, 20% grenade energy back. I would have been throwing another grenade by now. And you'd have halved my time. So you're going to be here for a while throwing grenades. So like I said, I'm going to severely speed this footage up because you don't want to be stand... No, I don't want the video just me for the next 20 minutes. Because it, it ended up taking me 55 minutes... Because of how, how slow I was getting my grenades. A couple of things that could have speeded up. I couldn't rerun it because you only get one chance to rerun it before, you know, when you beat it, that's it. You can't go back into it till it's the featured one. So this is it's, this is the footage speeded up. And even speeded up, you can see that it took me a while. Ha have the grenade thing. Be able to get your grenades back and you will half this time. It won't take you guys this long to do it. And that's your run. I think I've got an Adept Palindrome for this, but I'm not sure what the weapons are this week. But uh, very easy way to complete this GM. It is a very easy GM. Uh, just stay distance, let your rockets do the work, and put yourself in a position where you can get your rockets back. And you guys will do this no problem. This is the GM to farm if you want materials and you want stuff. And there we go, guys. Uh, the footage will now go back to normal. And we will throw our final grenade. And as you can see there, it took me 23 and a half minutes of throwing grenades. Almost as long as it took to do the whole strike. So that's why you want to have more grenades. Uh, and if you've got other people with you and you do this, then it, it will be a lot quicker for you than it was for me. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the run. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope this is going to help you guys get your runs done. If you did enjoy the video, a like is always appreciated. Uh, I will get a Titan run out on this. And stay safe, guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video.